We're already starting to feel some strong breezes coming into Panama City Beach and take a look at what the waves are already looking like right now. Are you nervous about the storm? A little um, nervous, but I think it'll be okay. Mandatory evacuations are enforced until further notice, please leave. I've, I've always loved hurricanes, so I kind of want to stick with it. Okay. Stay down here, see what happens. We're watching the surf that is getting increasingly stronger out here every hour. The waves get a little bit larger and more fierce, and that is only going to intensify over the next 24 hours as Hurricane Michael moves ashore in this area during the day on Wednesday. This is a Waffle House, and it is officially closed. I don't know I've ever seen that in my entire life. The hurricane shutters are up. It's literally that is 30A, the beach is right over there, and the restaurant that never closes is officially closed. We were fine, I'm like I have beer and wine and water and food and we'll be fine. <laughs> The surf is already creeping closer here in Panama City Beach as Hurricane Michael is intensifying into a powerful Category 4 storm. As those outer bands of Hurricane Michael are starting to hit this uh, Panama City, we're feeling the effects. A couple of hours makes a big difference. Possibly part of a building that has blown off and they were literally flying through the air on Front Beach Road here in Panama City Beach. So when they talk about why it's dangerous to be out, that's the reason why is structures from a building were literally flying through the air. There's another one of those right now. Uh, it's coming in the strong, stronger gusts. And again, I mentioned we're shielded by a building. so. Uh, Imagine uh, not being shielded by that at all, and those trees are still swaying really bad, too. Woo! Now that was a really strong yeah. I almost need this column to bear up against it. I'm uh, just checking to make sure that my photographer doesn't go tumbling out of the way either. Uh, emergency services personnel, it's this kind of wind gust that makes it impossible for them to get to you. So at this point, people here who have decided to stay and not evacuate, they are on their own and they have to be ready to take care of themselves for the next 18 to 24 hours. You'll have a couple seconds there where the gust will die down and then just come right back at you. And that when that rain is, that rain hits you really hard right in the face and it really kind of hurts. And so these wind gusts will come at you and you know they're coming and then you'll have almost like a second where you feel like you can stand for a minute and it's not going to be an issue but then it just comes right back at you this ground is without a doubt saturated i have to grab onto the railing here to make sure i don't fall over so i think that's going to be the uh the end of this live report for you here the wind has died down just for a second but that's just going to be a false sense of security so, Chesley, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. bad man uh, half of the town is gone and my house it's pretty much gone it was scarier than hell we're starting to get an idea of some of the damage that hurricane michael has left here in panama city beach florida i thought we weren't gonna make it through this but some kind of way God got us through it. Were some of the scariest I've ever been in my entire life. Trees were down, power lines were down. The devastation is not just along the coast, it even goes inland. And so this is going to take a very long time for the people of this region to clean up from Hurricane Michael.
If you had to describe for people who haven't driven through here, how extensive is the damage? For this area, um, it's extensive damage. Uh, in my 46 years, I've never seen anything in this county um, that uh, that is this large or extensive. Uh, we have sustained some, some serious damage. Uh, a lot of the damage that um, we've sustained is damage that we've never seen in this county. It's terrible. It lasted for hours. We didn't think it was ever going to be over with. It was uh, it was bad. It sounded like just, I don't know, the trees just started snapping and it was very scary. We did have um, the one uh, fatality, 11-year-old child, uh, was uh, uh, died as a result of, of injury sustained from the storm. Neighbors tell me this is the home where tragedy struck here in South Georgia as Hurricane Michael tore its way through into our state. It was an 11 year old girl who was at this home with her grandmother. Whenever this carport that we're showing you flipped over, it was picked up by those strong, heavy winds and it tore through the house and unfortunately killing that little girl. Uh, if what? I can get in contact with the family, I'm going to send my prayers out to them and just hope for the best. You know, nobody expected none of this pretty much. Nobody lost the one of our own, lost the town. Were you worried at any time that you weren't going to make it through? No. I had a Lord on my side, because I had prayed and prayed and prayed. Yeah. And he blessed us, and uh, we were blessed.